Following a skiing accident which left his daughter Allison paralyzed, Feinberg School of Medicine professor Dr. Jack Kessler changed his lab's research to focus on the repair of spinal cord injuries. Passionate advocates of stem cell research, the Kesslers are now the subject of a new documentary. We recently spent some time with Dr. Kessler and Allison to hear their stories. One of the things that we want to, that we want to do is to be able to study how stem cells actually behave in the brain in a living animal. Well, how can you do that? Dr. Jack Kessler oversees a team working to repair damaged spinal cords, a project on the front lines of scientific research. Stem cell biology is going to revolutionize the way we practice medicine long term. Right now, what doctors can basically do is treat symptoms and uh, help patients make the most uh, of whatever repair the body can do by itself and do naturally. There are many different kinds of stem cells. The kind of stem cell that has the most potential is known as the embryonic stem cell. It's also the kind of stem cell about which the most uh, the ethical issues swirl about us and which there's the most debate. Two years ago, when both houses of Congress approved a bill in favor of federal funding for stem cell research, President Bush used the first veto of his presidency. A similar bill passed earlier this year, and it was also vetoed by the president. Seventy percent of the people in the United States support stem cell biology and stem cell biologists. So it's really the will of the people of this country. I should put, uh, add the will of both houses of our Congress and many states. So it, it's unfortunate at this point in time being impeded um, by the president who's taken a position that I think is scientifically incorrect. This is all about trying to cure disease, trying to help people who are in pain, people who are suffering, to make them better. I can't think of a more moral or ethical thing to be doing. That, uh, so that I think that really we have the moral high ground. Kessler's goal had always been to regenerate the nervous system, but it was something more personal, more painful, that transformed his lab's focus toward finding a cure for spinal cord injury. Six years ago, my daughter was in a skiing accident, and she's paraplegic, and I got a telephone call um, and I spoke to the neurosurgery resident who examined her and I asked him a lot of questions about her neurologic condition and, uh, and unfortunately I knew enough at the time to know that the likelihood that she was going to regain significant function was, was very, very small. So I had to fly. This happened in Connecticut. I had to catch a plane in the evening. We didn't land until midnight. My daughter was already in surgery at the time and I had to wait till she woke up the next morning and when I was sitting on the airplane flying out there I vowed to myself I was going to change the direction of my lab uh, and that a major part of my lab was going to start working on spinal cord injury and um, we've done that. Allison Kessler graduated this year from Harvard University. She was also the coxswain for Harvard's rowing team. She told me that she plans to live her life to the full. She's not waiting around for anybody to be trying to cure spinal cord injury for her to lead her life to the fullest. And I'm proud of her. She's a very strong person, stronger than I am. Uh, and that's helped all of us get through the fact that she's such a strong person. I'm quite satisfied with the treatment that she got in terms of enabling her to go on with her life. But she's still in a wheelchair. And I do dream of my daughter walking out to greet me. And I think I'll live to see that. She gets angry at me sometimes because um, uh, I can't accept it. I think any parent understands that. I just can't accept it. It's um, uh, like a dagger to my heart. Every time I think about it, I, you know, it's six years later and I'm still uncomfortable when people ask me about it because. You don't get over something like that. She gets angry at me. My dad obviously loves me, and you know he wants to, you know, help me and sort of help other people like me and other people like him um, that have family members that could potentially benefit from new research. Um, I mean, it's I guess flattering that you know I, you know it's sort of a show of how much he loves me. You know, sort of a tangible thing. Um, and I think that's great, you know. At the same time, sometimes it's hard because he does still get really upset about it. And, 
you know, as a child, sometimes you want to be like, it's fine, you know, mom and dad, just let it go, like, life goes on, whatever. And, you know, sometimes that is still pretty hard, just, you know, then my dad does still get upset because it, you know, sometimes makes me feel a little bit guilty or, you know, just a little bit less, less than what I'm supposed to be. She believes that my lab and all the labs around the country working in this and the stem cell biologists and the people working on spinal cord injury will eventually put the pieces together. She's a young woman. Uh, she will, she will live to see herself walk again. And of course, I just hope I live to see it happen. Do I think that stem cell research is going to be the magic cure-all for everything? No. Um, do I think that it will end up being part of um, sort of procedures that will help a lot of people? Yes. In her own mind, she's exactly the same person she always was, and she is. Um, and uh, she deals with it exceedingly well. But she also said to me once, well, her job is to go on with her life and make the most of it. My job is to cure which is probably just a little bit more pressure than I wanted to hear. Kessler says he never used to speak to the media. Now he spends about one day a week advocating for stem cell research. And for the past two years, Kartemquin Films has been working on a documentary about Kessler and his Northwestern Labs research. The film was screened at Northwestern in June. I'm, I'm a physician, I'm a neurologist, I'm chairman of a clinical department, I'm a scientist. I really wanted to focus my life on my science and my patients. The thought of making a movie couldn't have been more alien to me. The thought of giving interviews like this could have been more alien. The thought of doing things in the newspapers was just not something that ever crossed my mind. It's not anything I ever wanted to do and quite frankly I'm looking forward to the time when I don't ever have to do it again. Meanwhile, work continues in the lab. Kessler's team is currently working with a small number of human embryonic stem cell lines approved by the federal government and provided by the National Institutes of Health. But Kessler can't acquire more without funding. I've set up what's called, I call a kosher and a non-kosher facility, uh, a facility in one in which I, the cells that are approved, I can grow those cells in one a facility which we built entirely with money that was given to us by donors, which allows us to now work with non-approved lines, because that's my belief that we have to do both. You know, even before my accident, he was really excited about coming to Northwestern and getting this job. And I think that since then, they really have, you know, supported him and given him free reign to be outspoken in, you know, a time when that isn't necessarily the safest thing to do. We are trying to heal disease. Yes, we try to alleviate pain and when there is suffering, uh, alleviate that. But the goal of, the, of this research is to heal people.